I'm Jonathan M0XXJ. Welcome back to the channel. Today continuing, continuing on the theme of QO100 satellite which I'm very slightly obsessed about we're going to do a comparison between the DX Patrol Helix antenna and between the ice cone feed which is from DC8PAT and see what the relative differences are. So a look at my station setup which comprises of an ICOM 9700 and on top of that you can see the ground station 2 that's the full duplex model and then on the back of this you can see that there is also an SDR play uh, RSP duo there which is connected to my computer and uh, that feed comes off the back of the ground station there's an RX out and there's uh, also an RX TX port which uh, is connected to the output uh, an input of the 9700 there's a GPS antenna which is mounted on top of my conservatory roof and uh, then there's also the LMB feed as well and uh, a uh, Ultraflex 13 coax. Now I have only using a very short piece of coax so it's only about a meter and a half long and uh, that is connected there to the LMB and to the ice, key, uh, ice uh, uh, cone feed and then there is an 80 centimeter dish which uh, is there. I'm going to experiment with using two dishes actually and have the LMB on a separate dish because uh, there is a certain amount of loss of gain when you've got the um, helix mounted on top of it however it's a lot easier to actually uh, position it I do find that uh, with it mounted on this tripod which isn't ideal um, the wind can have the effect of moving the whole facility around a bit and it can uh, sometimes cause a few issues but um, today it's relatively uh, calm out in the garden and uh, so that's the operating and uh, I use a connection to a computer with SDR console on it so I can also monitor everything the 9700 is in sat mode and so um, it will track the, uh, the TX and the RX will track uh, so that I'm able to uh, operate efficiently and uh, basically that's how it all works and uh, it uh, is a nice little setup I, ideally I'd like to be able to connect that using OmniRig onto my uh, Log for Oldman logger but um, the sat mode uh, facility doesn't seem to work properly so I'm looking at other ways of being able to sync my PC um, with the same frequency so that I can do that. Zero. 
XXJ testing, testing, testing. This is M0 XXJ testing. The ice crone feed. Testing, testing, testing. XXJ testing with the DX patrol and it cool. DK1KQ from M0XXJ all copied you and yes I can understand it must be very difficult when you have a lot of visitors to the area uh, particularly if you live slightly out of town like like you do it must be good conditions for working on the radio particularly on HF if you're close to the water like that so uh, sounds very very good indeed uh, DK1KQ from M0XXJ yeah, really fine, Jonathan. Yeah, well, talking about the left or right side. <laughs> yeah, I was several times in, in England and I try to avoid uh, using a car or let me drive. Anyhow, Jonathan, it was a pleasure to talk with you and sure we will meet another time for, for, the, for further talkings. Take care. Bye bye. Take care, you. Wish you best 7 3 and hope to talk to you again soon from M0XXJ 7 3.